So, Allen soon met Aesop, the Big Abrasives Corporation's executive vice president. Allen had a very long face and a still longer story. Alas, I am the most unhappy of caretakers. You know those iron bars that you left in my charge? Ah, do I know them? Have I not counted them over 50 times and added up just how much they are worth? What of them? A rat, a rat. It somehow got into the storage room and ate almost every bit of the iron. Come and see. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh. 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 I see nothing. Come closer. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh my. <laughs> Oh, infernal rat! Oh, oh my! Oh, 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 this is indeed sad for both of us. But I do know how dearly those rats love iron. They would rather eat it any day oh, than the finest of cheeses. Oh, 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 oh. jump into who's head. What is the meaning of this? Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, indeed, Alan, this is nothing new. In past years, we have lost hundreds of tons of iron to determined rats. Well, think of the matter no more, my friend. It is not your fault in any way. It is all the fault of those hungry, iron-loving rats. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, totally. Mm. Ha, ha. He, he, he. Ho, ho, ho. You know what? There were no iron-eating rats. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Enough of that. I have hidden the iron, and I will soon use it in my own new business's small cutting wheels operation. No one will be the wiser. <laughs> or so Alan thought. 